Welcome to our Retail Edge demo. Thank you for joining us today. Retail Edge is basically an inventory management system slash point of sale software. It can do all the basic functions of a point of sale system as well as track inventory. Let's jump right into it. As soon as you open our Retail Edge software, you'll be greeted by a login screen. It will ask for your user ID and password. Enter this information to proceed. Once you have successfully logged in, you'll be greeted by the Retail Edge Welcome Center. As well as to the top, you'll have the ribbon, which has a few more buttons than the Welcome Center. The cashier will spend most of their time on the sales screen, which is the green button seen in front of you. Once you single click or you touch the screen, if it's a touch screen monitor, it will take you to the sales screen. On the sales screen, you can add items to the transaction, you can remove, you can add discount, you can do everything that you need to do concerning the transaction. So here you can see we are simply selecting some items from the screen using our mouse. If you have a touch screen, you can just simply select by touching the button. You can also touch the items and change the description, change the price, change the quantity, add a discount, etc. You can remove items here or avoid an item also. With regards to refunds, voids, discounts, etc., we can set those to be at a supervisor level or higher. This prevents the cashier from doing unauthorized transactions or unauthorized functions. Once we have entered all the items in the transaction, we can then move to the payments tab. The payment tab is simple. Select the amount first, then select the payment tender type. Once that is done, the transaction is completed. You can even add a customer to each transaction. Here we'll attempt to add John Doe. You can use your attached keyboard, you can use the on-screen keyboard. You don't even need to enter the entire name, you can enter G-O-H, hit enter, it will search for the person, enter the first name, enter the last name, it will find the person. Once you have added your customer to the transaction, you can then move to the item screen and add items to the transaction there. Once you are ready to move on to payment, select the payment tab, enter the amount and the payment type. And that's basically a transaction, really quick. If you're doing a refund, you can do a refund by selecting the item, tap on return, exact amount and however you're going to return it to the customer. All returned items are labeled as red, and any discounted items are labeled as pink. Click the discount tab for any transaction, you can enter different discount types by row, complete sale, etc. And here you can see all the items turn pink because we have applied a 10% discount. Then we're ready to pay, enter the amount. Here we're going to enter two payment types. We're paying by $10 cash and we still have an amount of $12.46 due, which the customer is going to pay us by a Visa MasterCard. We also have something called a save sale, which you're going to see. It's where we hold a sale till later on. So for example, if a customer um, card is not working, or let's just say they, they forgot their um, wallet in the card, they forgot their wallet home, or your links machine is not working, you can save the sale until later when the customer arrives with cash or if they arrive with a card. Once the customer has arrived with the card, we can then recall the sale this actually saves a lot of time because we do not need to re-enter or scan or type all the items that we previously entered before for this transaction. At the end of all receipts, there's a barcode printed which can be used for this purpose. You can scan the barcode and recall the exact transaction and then we can continue from there. Go to advance, select recall a sale once the customer returns with their cash. You can search with them many ways. Here we know the total. Once selected, press recall. And 
then it's going to ask you to make it first, yes. And then we can just apply the payment and there, transaction is completed. Once it's completed and we're going back to reset, it's going to ask if you want to delete the original save save, which you could also set to be done automatically. So transactions are really simple, really, really, really simple. It takes a couple of seconds once you know what you're, you're doing, once you're familiar with the screen, it's really simple. Now we'll move on to the sales manager. The sales manager basically shows all transactions, whether it's processed already, a save sale, a layaway, a open order, etc. Using the sales manager, you can actually reprint a sale, you can copy a sale, let's just say a customer purchased 10 items this morning and they return for the same 10 items later. You can see like the invoice from this morning or the receipt and press copy sale, it would actually do a duplicate of that sale so you don't need to scan everything anymore. You can, if you choose to return the entire transaction, if you choose to return one item, you can do it from this screen also. In the sales manager also, we can review previous sales history. For example, if you want to go back to yesterday or the day before, last month, we can do all that from this screen. Initially, it would be grayed out, which means you can't click on it. But once you switch to save sale or any other option there and then you go back to sales history, you would be able to change the date. The customer manager basically gives you functions such as adding, modifying, find, delete customers. From there you can add your customer's info such as contact information, address, etc. You can even add house charges. So let's say they have a credit account, house charge in this system is called is considered as a credit account. So once they are authorized to do credit transactions, you can select that here also. You can even add, uh, add a permanent discount to this, so you can give them different discount so let's say they constantly buy from you and want to give them 10% discount you can do that here we also have price levels in the system so we have up to five price levels so price levels could be like this price one could be a hundred dollars for the item price level two could actually be more or less so let's say you set this customer at price level two whatever you have as price level two this is what the customer will be charged on the sales screen and all these different screens we can set certain limits so if you know cashiers are not supposed to be in the customer screen or the customer manager we can restrict that access next we'll go to the inventory manager the inventory manager basically manages all your items in your system so this is where you will enter all your product information you can modify so down to the bottom you can see the record count we have 164 items in the system but you can go unlimited as big as your hard drive is and you can quickly browse through some information rather than having to open each item you can see the quantity etc if you double click or you click modify you can change um, some information here anything identified as red or in red it's mandatory it must be entered for example the stock number the description the preferred vendor department stock type all that must be entered we can also do discount rules and apply them to, to individual items apply them to customers apply them to departments etc so let's test one So this hoodie we have it set as $98 for one, but when you purchase five, you're paying $20 for one. And there you go. It's in pink, so it's discounted. You can do buy one, get one free. You could do buy 10, pay this percent off, buy 10, get it for this. Whatever it is you need to do, the system can basically do it. Reports. There are multiple reports available. You can pull reports based on inventory, sales, payment methods, customers. So for example, we'll do a payment method. This actually shows you a breakdown of all your payment methods for that specific period. So it shows you one account, which is charge. So we know we had one customer charge for 936.57. Cash, nine customers, 
discovery was one customer, Visa, Mastercard was two customers and it gives you a uh, location total. So this is very helpful when you're balancing in the evening or closing off at the end of shift or at the end of day. All reports can be emailed, exported, printed, etc. So lastly, I'll show you how to close at the end of day. So on this screen here, we can choose to close one register, two, three, any amount we have here, but it's advised that we close all at the end of the day. There's also something called a cash draw calculator, which is very helpful. This helps you calculate the amount of cash you have in your draw. It will also tell you what cash you need to take out to leave the float, which is very, very helpful. No calculation is, no, no manual calculation rather, is needed. This report could also be emailed, exported, printed. Once you press exit, it's going to actually start the closing process. So it's going to pull the report now. And this report here gives you a breakdown of everything you did for the entire day. And this is a very, very important report because there are multiple things here. You can actually see the sales. You can see your gross costs, your profit, the actual margin. You can see, show you if you have house charges, payments, etc. It even goes further and gives you a breakdown of all the different categories, it gives you the payment methods, it gives you everything you need to know as a manager or as the owner of your business. It gives you an insight on your daily transactions, which is very, very helpful. And you could have your staff email this to you every night or at the end of every shift close. This brings us to the end of the demo. If you have any more questions, please do not hesitate to contact us because Retail Edge is full of features. There are so many things that I did not get a chance to show you or put into this presentation here, but we have a lot more to offer. Retail Edge is simple, Retail Edge is, is very convenient, Retail Edge is very cost effective, Retail Edge is also scalable, so you can start with one register at one location, you can eventually grow to two, three, ten registers, any amount of registers per location. You can even add locations, you can end up, end up with an entire chain of supermarkets or retail outlets, whatever it is, whatever type of business you have, Retail Edge can work for you. Thank you very, very much for joining us today. We hope this helps you make your decision with regards to choosing our software, Retail Edge. Thank you.